Lukas Rübenach is a student at one of Germany's best schools of chemistry, the RWTH in Aachen. His physical chemistry lecture starts at 8.15. Now that I'm into it, some things are really interesting, other things are tough. I'm in the fourth semester and I have to aim for my bachelor's, then I can go for my master's. That's obligatory in the natural sciences, a PhD is too actually. The motivation is there, you can invent new things and do research, and that's fun. His studies will last eight years eight years of learning formulas. Once the lecture is over, he cycles off to his internship. After sitting for an hour and a half in a lecture, it's really nice to ride my bike a little. At 10 o'clock, Lucas takes time to go over the theoretical material from the morning's lecture. The students help each other where they can. If there's something I don't understand, I always ask my fellow students first, then maybe a professor. Chemistry may help stave off the looming oil shortage. Chemicals can be used to extract crude oil from bedrock in a process called fracking. Critics say that damages the environment. How does Lucas see it? I try to improve the process so it doesn't cause environmental problems, just find other possibilities. One of his instructors is researching a way to make biofuel from waste wood. Federal government funding supports the research. Lukas has gradually found his way to a focus for his studies, macrochemistry. That would qualify him for a job where he could one day help to develop a biofuel suitable for mass production. Lunch break is short. Lucas is one of about 1,200 chemistry students here. At 2.30, he takes an oral exam, right there in the hallway. The instructor asks the students to recite formulas. Now it's Lucas's turn. DP after DT, delta equals delta S, delta S, I can't think of it right now. He didn't know the answer, now he's worried about his grade. I found that really difficult. It was okay. It could have been better. It was better than my last test. But it was the second best grade? Second best. 4 p.m. Some mechanical engineering students have adapted an engine to run on the fuel the chemistry students developed from waste wood. It's definitely exciting. Now we have an area of application we can work on directly. Now we can work on our fuel and see what we're doing this for. Now we have a goal we can work towards. At 5 p.m. he goes home, but his day still isn't over. Now he and a fellow student hit the books, usually till late into the night.